Okay, let's let them calm down for a second. Because this, this next move here I'm going to do, historically, makes them just as angry. I probably used too much smoke. I see everybody online. We'll just use a light puff. Well, I don't feel like it does anything. Okay, guys, let's put this sugar over here. I don't like putting my supers in the grass. Try not to give them my backside either because they like to sting on the butt. Tell me how I know that. Or ask me how I know that. Okay. This is a move that they don't like because I'm cracking this. It feels good to be into some bees right now, I'll tell you. Okay. Some light smoke here. I don't want to run them all off. I just don't want them coming after me. You can see they built some bridge comb to get up to the honey supers somewhat. They really they just really haven't even touched this honey up here though. We're gonna go for a frame in the middle. See if we find the queen. See if we can find some brood. I wanna get my half cup of bees and I wanna do my alcohol wash. Woo, cat brood. Let's see here. Let's get it in the sun. I'm looking for eggs. I see eggs. They're standing up. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, the eggs are standing up straight on the, on the bottom of the cell, which means it's a good queen. She can, oh, I see a small hive beetle. You little jerk. Um, yeah, so we're going to sorry I'm just man this queen is laying so good I feel bad to I'm not going to kill her but I'm going to transfer her to a new box she'll probably do me good to do that now I need to get a frame of the next frame I pull I got to smoke them again a little bit on me they are hitting me. This suit is actually working this time, it seems like. I'm smoking me and not them, right? I mean, I'm smoking them, but you can see I'm smoking me, not the, the hive. The next frame I pull, I'm going to do my alcohol wash. That involves doing a half cup of bees and eight ounces of alcohol. It kills the bees. Unfortunately, I hate that. I hate that I, I, I'm going to do that. I wouldn't say I have to do that, but there's other methods. I just have found through my research that this is the most uh, accurate way to know your Varroa load. Started a hashtag on Twitter called Know Your Load, and I certainly want to know what mine is. I treated with Apivar uh, from September to November. November is when they lit me up, stung me 13 times. I was dumb and pulled the super off. Uh, I had to put strips in these these two boxes right here uh, four of them total so that surrounds the, the cluster they're mad y'all um, anyways I had to pull pull four off I opened up the hive on November the 24th it was rainy it was cloudy and they did not like that they hit me harder than I almost felt like they were African bees but you know of course I don't know I've never seen African bees I just know that uh, what they did to me was not pleasant. Beekeeping is not for the faint of heart or the afraid or the scared because you're going to get stung. Don't let anybody tell you that they never get stung or you won't get stung, you will get stung. And you have to know that going into it. This is my contraption that I built for the alcohol wash. Two 16 ounce jars. I've welded them together here 
I'm selling them on eBay, $19.99 a piece. I think that's a fair price considering the time it takes for me to make these. I hand make all of them. I got eight inch hardware screen, eighth inch hardware screen in there. Goodness, they're just coming, look at this. They're coming right after me, y'all. They know they're about to die, I guess. All right. I'm gonna see the best way to do this. I wanna make it quick as possible. Put this on top of here. Put this on the ground. I've got my half cup right here. This is the death chamber. And and really guys, I don't I don't like killing bees. I really don't. Um, I love these bees. I feel attached to them. Uh, there's just something about them that makes me happy. I don't know what it is. But uh, I know they'll be happier if they're healthy and uh, they're not being, uh, you know, pillaged to death by these Varroa mites. And so 300 of them is a small price to pay to figure out where we're at with this. So we're going to smoke them down just a little bit more. Light smoke. I think I might have got hit in the back of the knee just now. Beekeeper's life. Where's my hive tool? In my pocket. Forgot to pull that frame apart. Yeah, I got stung in the back of the knee. It's, it is really kicking now. On bee stings, I found the best way to stop them from hurting is immediately when you feel the sting, you pop your clothes out just to get that stinger out then when you get to the house get some baking soda and water and make a paste and put it on there usually about 30 45 minutes later i don't feel anything anymore so i might be building up an immunity as well so we'll see okay i'm gonna put my high tool down they are not liking me got to be careful not to get the queen she is marked in this hive so I gotta this frame is trying to drop on me y'all I'm just gonna put this grabber down I'm trying to get the bees in here nurse bees don't really fly too much so I'm trying to get them I'll probably think I'm an idiot They are not staying in here. Hmm, what do we do here? Well, shoot. settle down for just a minute okay so that was a disaster I uh, kind of did one of those do what you got to do things and uh, scraped scraped bees off of this cup I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board and find out how these uh, super beekeepers do this uh, find out how how you get bees and half, a half cup of bees in the cup and maybe that I just didn't go down into the brood nest far enough to find the nurse bees that don't that don't fly but uh, it seems like everything I try to scoop up tried to fly away on me. So I've got a, a jar of the fallen over there that I'm about to shake up and test. And we'll do that here in just a minute. All right, that concludes my inspection. I'm happy to see eggs, cat brood. I'm gonna actually count these bees when I get done to see how many is actually in here because I doubt it's 300. Let's go over here with these ladies. They're mad that I killed their sisters. Agitating, agitating. They said don't shake it really because it makes it worse. No, no mites on that first shake. 
a little bit of field debris. And I know I had Varroa uh, because I actually caught some drones for my boys to play with and one of them had a Varroa mite on them. So let's see, I got some more debris this time. Just pollen. But you know what? I'm sure I didn't sample the correct bees. I'm sure that um, the bees that I killed were more of a foraging type rather than a nurse bee. You want you want the bees from the brood frames. I'm gonna go ahead and shake and see what happens when I do that. You want the nurse nurse bees because they're more likely to have the phoretic mites, which are the mites that are actively sucking blood on them. Looking again, I don't see anything. See anything in the bottom. Keep the switching swishing going. No mites, y'all. Um, of course, that to me is an inconclusive result. Um, I probably won't alcohol wash them again um, for several months until the spring nectar flow starts and I've got lots of bees to spare. Um, I, I really don't want to stress my hive out anymore uh, in late January like this. And it may be why they're more aggressive. They're still in the mo mode where they know they have to build up a family for the year and they don't want to be messed with. So, hey, um, I welcome any comments, criticisms, uh, explanations. Uh, I, I'm not saying I don't know anything, but I, I don't know enough, that's for certain. I don't think any of us do, but, um, you know, throw a comment my way. Let me know uh, what your insights are on in this little inspection that I've done, what you think. You know, you probably think I'm dumb for getting in the hive, or maybe you've done something similar lately, or, you know, if you've done this alcohol wet wash method, tell me how you got the bees in the cup. Uh, tell me what I did wrong. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot. This has been my bee guy 501.